Welcome to this Certified Blockchain Security Expert course and certification. As you may have guessed from the name of this course, the course is focused on blockchain security. And so, if you're interested in blockchain security in general, this course is probably for you. However, more specifically, if you want to understand the threats to the security of blockchain systems, if you want to learn how to perform blockchain threat modeling and assess blockchain systems for potential vulnerabilities, or if you are a blockchain systems designer and developer and you want to make sure that your systems and distributed applications are secure, then this course is for you. And so if this course is for you, we've got four weeks of content where you'll spend about two hours per week learning about some of the essentials of blockchain security. This course is offered in a flexible learning format, meaning that you can fit it to your schedule. In this course, we have eight modules. We're going to start out with an introduction to the blockchain, discuss how the blockchain works at a high level, because understanding how the system works is essential to discussing how to secure it. After that, we're going to dive into threat modeling for the blockchain. So a threat model is used in cybersecurity to help classify potential threats to a system based off of their impacts. In this module, we'll talk about a blockchain-specific threat model that maps attacks to the level of the blockchain ecosystem and their intended goal. In module three, we're going to talk about fundamental blockchain cryptography. So the blockchain is built on cryptography. Many of the security assumptions and guarantees that we use in blockchain systems are provided by cryptographic algorithms. And so to understand the security of a blockchain, it's important to understand the security of the underlying cryptography. In module four, we're going to talk consensus algorithms. When we have a decentralized distributed system, we need some way to make sure that everyone agrees on the current state of the distributed ledger. This is the job of consensus algorithms. In this module, we'll talk about how consensus algorithms work. And for two of the main consensus algorithms in use today, we'll discuss how they work in a bit more detail and how they can be attacked. In module five, we're going to focus in on practical blockchain security. So in a theoretical space, if you're looking at a blockchain, there aren't many practical attacks against blockchain theory. It's pretty well designed. However, when we start implementing this theory on actual computers and networks, we introduce new attack vectors. And we'll be discussing how the infrastructure of the blockchain can be attacked in module five. In module six, we're going to go beyond the original blockchain to talk about smart contract platforms, which allow you to develop and run programs on top of a blockchain system. With these new programs running on top of the blockchain, we have the potential for new vulnerabilities and attack vectors. And we'll discuss some of the main vulnerabilities that occur in smart contracts in this module. In module seven, we're going to be talking about how to test blockchain systems, discussing some of the major considerations that should be kept in mind when auditing the security of a blockchain design or an implemented system. And we'll take a look at a few real world case studies of blockchain hacks, where a failure to consider these important features and properly test the potential vulnerabilities that they introduced resulted in a blockchain being hacked. Finally, we're going to talk about enterprise blockchain security. So blockchain has gained a lot of traction and adoption in enterprise, and these enterprises often have different requirements and security and privacy needs than the original blockchains were designed to provide. So in this final module, we'll talk about a couple of the current leading enterprise blockchain platforms and some of the features that they have that impact their security. And so you may be wondering now who this course is designed for or who should take this course. And so if you want to become a blockchain security professional, like a subject matter expert on blockchain security, this course is for you. 
if you are a blockchain solutions architect designing blockchain platforms and systems, then understanding the security of these systems and how to make the right choice at certain points is essential to creating a system that's both usable and secure. If you're a developer, whether developing um, the underlying blockchain software or smart contracts that run on top of it, it's important to understand common implementation and design errors in blockchain systems and make sure that your code does not contain these issues. And so if any of these four categories apply to you, then you're the ones that this course is designed for. And so finally, who are you going to be learning from in this course? My name's Howard Postum, and I designed, developed, and teach the rest of this course. My background's in cybersecurity, but I got into blockchain security a couple of years ago and have a fair amount of experience in researching, speaking, and teaching about blockchain security topics. And so I'll be here with you throughout the rest of the course, and let's get started.